Bonani Ukhandit. Welcome to yet another fresh episode of Teenagers on a Mission right here on SABC One Mzansi for sure. And then we send you into another world to check what's happening in the world of life, science, and technology. This explorer is in those alarm cabin. Yep, boy, yes, but I'm Sanjika. We are all about electric motors. Yeah. Learning more about these beautiful phenomenons and learning how to use them, how they're designed, how they're created, mm -hmm. the list goes on. Mm -hmm. Before we start our engines, I'm going to show you the highlights of today. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. I'm going to show you the TOMZ. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. Electric motors are going to show you the science of powered propulsion. I'm going to show you the experts who are going to show you the science of power of technology. Experts description are going to show you the first hand look on how innovation brings it all together for a sustainable future. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. For a sustainable future. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. I'm going to show you the highlights of today. I'm going to show you Ringa a quantum leap into the future when our mobile cars are the electric motors. Shall be the same as one. Ringa one or two the big buzzer braids has the rubber. The T L M Z quiz. Now, the first, we've come to the part of the show where we interact with you via our social media pages. So this is what happens. Send me a question on Facebook. So you question it. So question it, and I'm telling you, it's name everyday items that have electric motors. Spete comment every agum simele. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Ati remote controlled cars, and then you know, ati refrigerators, and then unsegelelo ati microwave. And there's a lot of comments, guys. Keep those comments coming in. So afunda on the show. Kumbulo guti on. Facebook C T O M Z and on Twitter C Tom's underscore S A P C underscore one. Right about now, some someone who's among us is Kela Bona. What do they think about electrical motors? I get about Fetus Katsa Corner. We out here at Lufetsa Girls High School is always to Orlando East. How you doing, dear? Yeah, I'm doing great. Omland. Yoga cool. Ah, is it? Is it okay? So, what grade are you in? What grade are you in? What grade are you in? My name is Anna Butelezi. I'm in grade 11 at Lufenza Girls. When I grow up, I want to be an electric engineer. Ooh, that's interesting. You know why? Because in Zogbuzang, I'm an electrical motor. So, I'm really expecting the best from you, you know? There we go. To my future electrical engineer. Question number one. I'm Chele, in electrical motor. So an electric motor is an electric component that deals with electricity. Do electrical motors is taller uh, We find them in the power stations. We can find them in the in any system that generates electricity. Hey, you had to invent something, Namshanji. Would it include the electrical motor invention, and why? Um, no, because. I think my uh, electrical motors, they like ions are in, ions are fused, are loose are fused, and the fuse it penetrates the ozone layer and that causes climate change. Science and technology have transformed those once battery powered motors, as such as like toys, right, into the driving force of the planet's quickest and high performance supercars. Let's check it out. For the purpose of introduction of the electric motors, on Santa Harry work at the principles that DC cap a direct current motor. When I lead the electric motor type, saying that I hold a model for cellular and a coffee, let me pay here. It's a British song I hold a key on a DC motor design. The principles that DC motor again tell you already, but no, no, how hold. Hello, Runa, let current it's a my son, can that a little rake and a camera a magnetic field gonna experience and effects the force element of her one as movement in a particular direction. Harry, we have got the basic idea of DC motor, elegant hair, Harry, one or two, everyone has. A conductive armature, kapa a coil, a logo here, a copancito, lintu ebitangori ki a commutator, kapa di brushes. Collectively, have magnetic components, hari copanica fella di bita horiki, a stator, ebile heki into a logo ya rotator. The conductive components that ting here, lead electric motor, gets on a tebitang horiki, a rotor. Stator, le rotor, gets on a logo here, the fundamental components, seba tanga hulu, kamahara a electric motor. Ha electric motor, ha le power ya ting, is supplied to the motor, and to a logo longo, a logo here, a copancito, le rotor. Tail, or totally a fan, cap a hair, libidi, get to a little etrohona who rotator. Calabalor, it is powered by an electromotor. 
And I'm Master Buffett again. He's one of the most influential people in Klabini Jigele. The Futsi Buffett was cool about electrical motors again. Yena, Utila and design net development Zakon. Yeah, boy, yes. Futsi in motors and bani zake. As in Zwing and company yaki are outperforming many of the most revered petrol powered cars on the planet. Mm -hmm. Futsi, Wakanero rockets that go into space. You know what's the nice thing about him? Mm -hmm. He's proudly South African in Dwana, all the way from Epinoni, Ekaslami, it's just Kenya. But anyway, my friends, since Kulumanga want you are changing the world, or some sort of one if you check Lene Yetan, I'm telling you, Ian Zani, that is going to blow you away. How you doing, bro? Uh, good, and you? I'm great. What's your name? <laughs> Shelf. Okay, Shelf, where are you from? Uh, Durban. Okay, so tell us about your project. What is your project? What I'm doing is it's waste heat to electrical energy okay. via thermal piles in our homes. Okay. So basically what it is, it's creating uh, an electric voltage from excess heat energy around our homes. So for instance, by using the two modules I've created in two different situations, I was able to get a voltage reading. So how long did it take you to actually do this project? Well, I started in March, um, halfway through March, and maybe I finished June or so. And then uh, initially the research, like the Googling and stuff was quite long. I mean, nowadays, like whenever you need to look up something, you just go to the net and check it. Yeah, yeah. And so that took quite long. And then I compiled all the different research that I found. Um, and then I found, I came across TEGs. And then from there to actually building the model maybe took me about two months because there was quite a lot of problems and, and like getting a TEG, yeah. all of that. Awesome. All the best, bro. Here's a high five. Okay, cool. That's how we do it. <laughs> all the best. Take a look at the timeline of electric motor innovation. In the 1800s, can you use the only an Italian physicist, Obitango Ricky Alessandro Volta, Ulungaretta, electric cell, Yapili, Ebitang Happy Horki, a battery, Gauss, a copanted silver zinc plate, Gauffet. In 1820, Hans Christian Orsted, Kiana, a Danish, Ulungarhe, Ukono, who formed another relationship, Maranga, electricity, magnetism, and in Toyona, a company, Ribitor Gaswaki, electromagnetism. In 1820, French physicist, Obitango Ricky, Andre Marie Am. Perry, can I elenga a vent and be a solenoid? In turn, I a type of electric magnet, Elung Rai Sevisa, Likasha Kulikamara, the starters that could be. K eighteen twenty one, Mutu Ailing would be one seven to Orsted, K British scientist, Obitangoki, Michael Faraday, Ohonor Bontar, Hankinke, a magnetized wire, Ohonazong rotator, Kamara electric field. Kaweta Seo, Faraday, Ohonor Bontar, electromagnetic rotation, Kinche Lunga Honoita Hal. K eighteen twenty two, Peter Bolle, Ohonor for many advancements, Ta innovation, Tara Honor to say, Hekaweta. Ballers will and I'm gonna hear get to a lot of key motor yapili eling a team electric motors are everywhere mm -hmm. from the big turn of the century all the way to those tiny unseen engines that keep the gears of science and technology going yes sir and i'm talking about all about electrical motors so it's going to be talking about about this topic hit us up on our social media pages and you understand the good see on facebook cto mz just understand the foot good on twitter see tom's underscore sapc one since you guys understand us we're going to take a short at break see you boy. I'm getting a footy good teenagers on a mission up with SABC One. I'm Zanti for sure. Yes, sir. Nyaz of Fetu Guti, Slally Silana to teach you all about science and technology, and I'm telling you all about electrical motors. Without wasting any time, I start my engine. What much did you know? Yes, many as a Guti, excluding the hybrid, plug in hybrid, and the hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Yeah. At least 12 of the top car manufacturers are already making electric cars. Okay, Imoto's a guess of to convert about 59 to 62 percent mm -hmm. of electrical power Duana, to actually power the grid from Pantsugaguma V. Oh, very interesting. Whereas conventional gasoline vehicles yeah. only convert 17 to 21% okay. mm -hmm. of low energy, right? Yeah. From the gasoline to be powered at the wheels. Mm -hmm. And if I refer to electrical motors, gonna omit no tailpipe. Already, they are delivering more power, right? Mm -hmm. And they perform more efficiently than their counterparts that are fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. To check out how this science works out and what is powering Lama Engine's lava fit, and I'm telling you, we join an expert, I was just Gavanzi, about electrical motors. Let's go meet him. Vroom, vroom. You know, 
what time it is in Donna, it's your boy C A Double D Y pronounced Kerry. It's again on another mission. And the mission is about Fifty Shaila Evit University. So what is an electrical motto? So without wasting any time, let's go meet him. So what good job? It's cool, no? Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm Alamu and today we're on a mission to find out more about electrical motors. But before we see Agulio Machine Leo, can you please tell us who you are, what do you do, and which department are we at Konala Evitz? Okay, so Nike Leserima Sisi from uh, Northern Cape, Kuruman. And I'm a lecturer here at Vits at the School of uh, Electrical and Information Engineering. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to talk about electrical motors. So, I'm going to talk about electrical motors in engineering and what is it all about? So electrical motors are basically, it's both electrical yeah. and mechanical in nature. Yeah. So where electrical comes in is because you give it electrical energy or electrical power sure. and it converts that to a mechanical power. Okay. So it's sort of a combination of mechanical and electrical. Yeah. But then with me or in our school, we'll yeah. focus more on the electrical side of the machine. Okay. So I'm trying to a machine to yes. see which is actually what is electrical motors, how do they work? Yeah. Maybe we can have a sneak peek of your innovation. So I mean, I'm ready to see your station from one to seven and what we're going to be checking out today. Okay. So when you're ready to take me, I'm ready. No problem. Let's go. Can you shoot? <laughs> So, Cisco Station, Sakotok. Yes. Okay, so what's going on here? So, as we I mentioned that um, an AC machine, this is an alternating current uh, machine. Okay. It's called an induction machine. Okay. But to run it, as I mentioned, you need a, a drive okay. or an inverter. All right. What an inverter does, it converts mm. DC power, direct current power, okay. into alternating power. All right, all right. Uh, AC. Sure. So uh, right now you are seeing this device here is called DSpace. Okay. So DSpace um, allows us to do experimentation, real-time experimentation. Okay. So this is a simple uh, V by F control. What it does is it keeps the flux in the air gap of the induction machine constant as you vary the speed of the machine, which in this case, it's 15 hertz. So what it does is as I increase the frequency, the voltage seen by the machine also will increase. So right here, it is the voltage uh, waveform signals, reference signals, that are fed into the induction machine. Okay. And then through the DSpace, we're able to test those uh, algorithms. Yeah. So basically, this allows us to do uh, real-time tests okay. of our ideas and so on for our research purposes. Yeah. So currently, there's a program that's taking uh, information into the DSpace sure. through the inverter. Yes. And then the inverter uh, powers this induction machine. All right. Okay. And the processor like that's cut this thing again. Is it seconds? Is it minutes? Is it hours? Yeah. Currently, we are talking microseconds. So, sure. of, okay. Of switching. Sure. On this uh, inverter. Okay. So when we talk about electrical motors, are there is there a difference? Are there any other types? of machines, okay. Yes, yes there's uh, quite a family of electrical machines. Mm. The induction machine is, uh, in, it falls under the AC kind of machines, mm. alternating current machines. Yeah. There's also DC machines, mm. which mm. is direct current machines. Yeah. A technology name like Koele. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so manje, baguza, we sustainability. Mm. Yeah, mechanical motors, yeah. DC, AC um, machines. Do they have a future? Okay, so for example, the induction machine yes. is uh, one of the oldest machines, mm. and um, it, its implementation and its technology, the science behind it, yeah. the real inventor was this gentleman called Nikola Tesla. Yes. And at that time, he even mentioned that the telephone will die before an AC machine can die. And he was right. So Doc, for somebody at home who wants to be like you and do some research and also start on their own innovations, what do you get advice? I mean, right now there's a hot uh, uh, topic on renewables, 
uh, renewable energy and so on. Mm. If you look at uh, wind turbines, yes. they make use of electrical machines. Mm. And there's a need for electrical machine designers. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. It's been an amazing mission. Maybe I might join you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I might join you and change my career and come to the electrical engineering. Okay. Who I'm knows? Good. Good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. <laughs> okay, so it's not just the button that you press. There's a lot of science and technology behind that button. And I'm trying to we got to learn it behind the scenes here, electrical motors. Now this is a field that you can tap into if you fun go by engineer and if you span up to my electrical motors. Otherwise, this is where we end our mission. Your boy C A W D Y pronounced Kerry is out of here. Well, Antona, you know what? These people of Bezanalama Innovation, I respect them so much because they're definitely changing the world. This is a plumber in a world that is comfortable and nice. Godwa, did you guys know? Electric motors, mm -hmm. ah, they just provide quiet and smooth operation. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have a more powerful acceleration and they're just a lower maintenance than internal combustion engines. Mm -hmm. And according to the study of American Department of Energy, mm -hmm. electrical vehicle ne, is seven summer petri, ne? Yeah. and we have done a good in a moderate climate, it can last from 12 to 15 years. Got in a severe climate, it's like eight to 12 years. And Two million electric cars were sold in 2018. Ooh. That is an increase of 70% to the previous year. Yeah, wow. wow. With that being said, so this is our short app break. But in Kumulugut, you can hit us up with your thoughts on our social media pages. We'll be back. I hope you can see me back on your screen. on your screen. This is Teenagers on a Mission. I'm going SABC1 Mzansi for sure. And before this, we still continue to show you what it's like to be able to do it. Before this, we still continue to show you what it's like to when it comes to sustainability in the future. Yes, now it is time for us to put our knowledge to the test and see which team is going to come out on top in our Tom's Quiz Game Show. Mm -hmm. You ready? You ready, Ken? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's go. It's time for the TOMZ quiz game show. Silana is over to Orlando East Elephant Girls High School. Make some noise! There we go, there we go. So, ladies, so, ladies, ladies, we're gonna be playing the Tom's quiz game show, right? Here are the rules there's a buzzer in front of you. I'm gonna ask questions. Then, after that, you must wait for me to read out the question and the multiple choice in terms of the answers, all right? Then after that, Then, quickest hands to the buzzer, we move on to the next question until we get the winner, best out of five. Question number one. The principle of a direct current motor is very simple. When a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, what does it do? Is it A, it explodes? Is it B, it experiences the effects of a force that is seen as movement in a particular direction? Or is it C, it evaporates? Or is it D, it dissolves? Ooh, team A was the quickest hand to the buzzer. Team A, here's your chance. What's the answer? B. B. Are you guys sure? Keep B. Moving on to question number two. If we consider the basic idea of a direct current motor, we will see that there is a conductive armature which is connected to what is known as, is it A, battery? Is it B, a spark? Is it C, a wire? Or is it D? What's the answer, ladies? D. Are, are you sure? And the answer is, oh, they got it correct. So a quick score update. Team A is currently on two. Then team B is currently on zero. But don't worry, guys, we're still in it again. Moving on to question number three. When power supply through the commutator segment, current will start to flow through the conductive armature. Is this true or false? Team B, nice one, nice one, nice one. What's your answer? Is this true or false? It's true. True. Yes. That is A. <laughs> Moving on to question number four. The principle of a direct current motor is very complicated. Is this true or false? Ladies? It's B. False. 
But it seems like you're not sure. Yes, yes. They got it right, it is false. <laughs> All right, guys. Moving on to question number five. As it stands, the score is three to one. The amateur is placed between the north and south poles of either. Is it A, a rock or a hard place? Or is it B, a permanent or electromagnet? Is it C, a positive or a negative? Or is it D, which is fire water? There we go. The answer is? So you reckon that the image is placed between the North and South Poles? B, oh. Oh, sorry guys, but not, but worry not, because guess what? You guys are still the winners. There we go. Alonali Ponetti here. Today's winners is definitely Team A with three points and Team B, you guys are on one. Give it up for yourselves, class. Make some noise. That was Lufenso Girls High School. We are at Baxter Studio. Well done to you guys. Good job. Mamalanga, if you guys want us to come to your school, you know you can just holler at us. This is elegant And who knows, you guys might be our champions in the waiting. Mm hmm, most definitely, my friend. So, Electric Motors, does it have a future? Yes. Does it? Oh, yes. Mm, let's go, Tav. Kuyaka, the head of aircraft design, one of the world's top electronic manufacturers, Rokonahe will convince you to handle the hybrid electric drives into a local Mohara regional airlines. Telling you that it's about 50 to 100, it can tell you that it's not going in medium term possibility. The advancements come from the supercapacitors, can tell you that it's not going to be longer and better performance come from the range of the batteries that are going to be the supercapacitors that are going to be eliminated the need for energy storage altogether. Further Integrations, Kamahara Designs, can check on our to say, hey, our civil nanotechnology, Rutule Pelitari sets are the innovations such on the nano whisker technology, Econong of Fatala, a standard copper wire, or it's already a super capacitor, Elongre, Econo Woodley sets are storing and delivering large amounts of power. Can I go in? First, we have come to the end of the show. And thank you so much for joining us. And I hope when it comes to electrical motors in Dwana, they definitely have a future. So if you are thinking to tap into that field in Dwana, now you have the opportunity. To keep tabs on the show, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to www.sabceducation.co.za for slash T-O-M-Z. And as much as in Kubuya to Ipela Apa, you know that the conversation still goes on on Facebook. We are simply Thompson on Twitter, we are TOMZ underscore SABC underscore one. Mm -hmm. From me and Caddy, vroom! Shema fellow in the turret in Molina Nuli Latalanga TOMZ. Roto Chakala the past, the Hutilam Ram millions of years back to Honoi to the Gadi Fossil Hills of Huntlente, Ia Hetz, Juan Camohara Adventure, Nekazaguia TOMZ. The Putti reports a Hagadi Fossil Hills to Honang or Chusaka, a sustainable future. The one of Kimango Shali filling a hole lulling the big buzzer brains had a bottle of the TOMZ quiz. Scalabella Shavala TOMZ, Calabon and Damshan, half is two more SIBC ones. Mzanzi for show. Sure.